Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Fatal fishing boat crash echoes earlier tragedy that tested Xi in Taiwan Strait. Trump vows to boost reciprocal tariffs on imports if re-elected. Raina Dialogue, India's lofty ideals make clear it's a quad misfit. Party rages on for corporate bond investors. Why China will avoid talking about US election during two sessions. Fatal fishing boat crash echoes earlier tragedy that tested Xi in Taiwan Strait. South China Morning Post. The recent incident involving two mainland Chinese fishermen who died while fleeing Taiwan's Coast Guard has strained relations between Beijing and Taipei. This incident, which occurred amid a lack of communication and trust between the two sides, could add to the already deteriorating cross-strait tensions. Analysts warn that the lack of mutual trust and understanding between Beijing and Taipei could result in accidents being overly politicized and lead to further unwanted outcomes. Trust between the two sides has deteriorated since 1990, when Xi Jinping handled a similar incident in a more favorable political atmosphere. Trump vows to boost reciprocal tariffs on imports if re-elected. Bloomberg Donald Trump has reiterated his plans to impose tit-for-tat tariffs if he is re-elected as president, saying he will pass the Trump Reciprocal Trade Act. Under this act, if a country imposes a high tariff on US goods, the US will respond with an equally high tariff on their goods. Trump has previously suggested raising tariffs on Chinese goods by over 60% and has floated a 10% tariff on all goods imported to the US. The Biden administration has largely kept these tariffs in place, which has drawn criticism from business groups who claim that the tariffs have driven up prices and undermined competitiveness. Raina Dialogue, India's lofty ideals make clear it's a quad misfit. South China Morning Post. The author argues that India is a better fit for groupings such as BRICS or ITU2 than for the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, Quad. They suggest that the Quad's values and goals do not align with India's stance on various issues, such as the war in Ukraine and its relationship with Russia. The author concludes that India will continue to straddle different camps and that the Quad is not a good fit for the country. Party rages on for corporate bond investors. Bloomberg. US credit markets are showing signs of increased risk appetite as investors pour money into corporate debt. Risk premiums have been shrinking for most of 2019, indicating less fear of default. Mixed economic data suggests that the Federal Reserve may not hike rates further, while rising inflation implies a recession is not imminent. However, there are risks ahead, including sensitivity to rate movements, and money managers are showing early signs of getting full on high-grade bond sales. Nevertheless, inflows into U.S. investment-grade debt have averaged $6.4 billion per week in February, up 10% from January. Why China will avoid talking about U.S. election during two sessions. South China Morning Post. China is expected to take a cautious and neutral stance on the U.S. presidential election during its annual legislative meetings, known as the two sessions, which will take place next week. Observers say that both President Joe Biden and his predecessor Donald Trump share the same strategic stance on China, differing only in their tactics. Therefore, neither candidate would be a relief for Beijing or change the direction of Sino-American ties. The Biden administration has left Trump-era tariffs on Chinese products in place and rallied US allies to reinforce technology controls against Beijing and build up a military presence in the Indo-Pacific. If Biden were re-elected, he would likely continue to refine his framework for competition with China. If Trump were to regain the White House, Republicans would likely play up China as a threat while pushing for domestic investment and creating more barriers in technology. The US and China remain at odds on a spectrum of issues, including Taiwan, the South China Sea, trade, and technology. Singapore Watch Strap Brand Aims for Global Reach Nikkei Asia Singapore brand, Delux, handcrafts leather watch straps in a variety of designs and colors. The company has received orders from collectors around the world and offers straps that can be easily attached without special tools, allowing customers to change the look of their watch to match their outfit or plans each day.
Deluxe uses high-quality leather from suppliers in Europe and other locations and also offers rubber straps for a more casual style. The company sold 45,000 straps last year and has expanded its presence by collaborating with watchmakers. Yellen praises ties with Chile, a vital part of EV supply chain. Bloomberg U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has highlighted the potential for strong economic relations between the U.S. and Chile in the areas of climate and energy. Yellen's comments came during a visit to a lithium processing facility in Antofagasta, Chile, and underscored the importance of Chile as a supplier of lithium, a key metal used in electric vehicle, EV, batteries. China is currently the largest global EV producer and purchases around two-thirds of Chile's lithium exports. The Biden administration is seeking to reduce U.S. dependence on China for critical materials and is pursuing a friend-shoring agenda to strengthen domestic supply chains. Fed's Powell to double down on no rush to cut message. Yahoo! U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell is expected to resist calls to cut interest rates when he appears in front of a House committee on Wednesday and a Senate panel on Thursday. Powell is likely to reiterate that there is no need to rush into a rate cut, especially after inflation data showed that price pressures remained. The U.S. Central Bank has already indicated that it can take its time before deciding to lower rates, given the strength of the nation's economy. However, Democrats are expected to question Powell's stance, citing the effect rate rises could have on the presidential election. Powell said in an interview earlier this month that the economy was not yet finished, and that the really good readings we've had for the last six months somehow turn out not to be a true indicator of where inflation's heading. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the sixth dimension. Today, we've covered some intriguing news stories that have global implications. From the fatal fishing boat crash straining relations between China and Taiwan, to Trump's vow to boost reciprocal tariffs if re-elected, and India's misfit in the Quad, there's certainly a lot to unpack. Let's start with the fishing boat incident. It's unfortunate to see how a lack of communication and trust can escalate tensions between nations. We must remember the importance of mutual understanding and trust in preventing accidents from being politicized. Maybe we need a Trust 101 course for world leaders. Moving on to Trump's tariff plans. It seems like he's really into the whole tit-for-tat game. But let's not forget that these tariffs have drawn criticism from business groups, who argue that they've driven up prices and hurt competitiveness. Will higher tariffs really be the key to success? I'm not so sure. Now, India's misfit in the quad. It's interesting to see how different countries align themselves with various groupings. The author suggests that India's values and goals don't align with the Quad, and they may have a point. India will continue to straddle different camps, and that's okay. Sometimes it's good to be a misfit. In the world of finance, US credit markets are showing signs of increased risk appetite. Investors are pouring money into corporate debt, indicating less fear of default. But let's not get too carried away. There are risks ahead, and money managers are already showing signs of getting full on high-grade bond sales. Remember, it's all fun and games until someone gets a credit downgrade. Shifting gears to US-China relations, it seems like China will take a cautious and neutral stance on the US presidential election during its two sessions. Both Biden and Trump have similar strategic stances on China, differing only in their tactics. So, no matter who wins, it's unlikely to bring relief or change the direction of Sino-American ties. The US and China remain at odds on various issues, and it's a complex dance that will continue. On a lighter note, who knew that Singapore watch straps could be a global sensation? D-Lugs, a Singapore brand, is handcrafting leather watch straps that are catching the eye of collectors around the world. With their variety of designs and easy attachment, they are allowing customers to change the look of their watches to match their outfit or plans each day. Talk about fashion meeting function. Lastly, US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen praised the economic potential between the US and Chile in the areas of climate and energy. Yellen highlighted Chile's importance as a supplier of lithium, a key metal used in EV batteries. 
The Biden administration's push to strengthen domestic supply chains and reduce dependence on China is evident in their French shoring agenda. Looks like the US is planning to charge ahead in the EV race. That's all for today's news, folks. Remember, it's important to keep an eye on these global developments and think critically about their implications. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you make of these stories? Do you have any burning questions? Let's get the discussion going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO brief via email.